We are going to start the first game of the final day of the BMSC between Piotr Andronovsky and Wayne Kelly and the players are starting and hopefully I'll have a commentator but I'll see you guys in a bit.
Hello, everyone. Can the audience hear me? Okay, I'll be able to start commenting in a moment once the video loads. Okay. Okay, I'm following the game now. Okay. Um, Peter's rack needs some balancing here. One good option would be playing Bun at B13. And yes, there's Bovine. Okay, he has played bovine. Oh, uh, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Tian Rong from Singapore. Yep, I was a uh, a regular player in Singapore. Uh, you may have seen me at the World Youth Scrabble Championships a few years back, but since then I've only played in a few major international tournaments, such as uh, Causeway. Uh, Levit is the obvious move here because it scores 42. Jessica, I think my commentary is slightly delayed. They are playing quite fast. On average, they take like less than one minute a move. So there's only one player being able, one player being go on uh, Peter's right. That's out he turn and he has played it. at I1. A 
a good someone show me the past few moves. I'm trying to catch up on Crackle. Thank you. Peter can play a few moves that are available at B13. For example, that's KOP. That's KOB. That score over 30, and that's pretty decent. Another scoring spot would be J4. Personally, I would rather keep a P compared to a B. Uh, it's worth noting that if he decides to play at J4, for example, KOB or KOP, uh, there's a risk that the opponent will hook S in front when he bingos. So it is slightly more risky. Okay. That will also happen if he decides to play KOB with KS at B30. In this case, it might be worth sacrificing two points, being B O K instead of K O B, just to prevent the S front hook. for my simulation the top two moves are KOB at J4 and BOK at B13 okay so he has been booked with a five point challenge No L for solution. Hmm. And the scoring potential with this rank. It's not much unless he being this. It'd be best if he tries to balance. For example, playing OU or OUP. Alternatively, you can play IS O and D for a good 33 points, but his leave will be slight. Okay, so they are uh, just under 18 minutes on both sides. 
it's still enough time for the rest of the game. Okay, uh, when fishing here, it's important to take note that you wouldn't want to trail so much that a bingo would only help you catch up later on. You would want to score decently and still bingo to overtake your opponent, ideally. So in this case, I will actually go for ISO for 33 points as a lead of INOTU still gives you a decent chance of the bingo while allowing you to catch up with your opponent's score. in the chat room. Okay, um, simulating the different choices, Mr. Bikebiker now. Okay, the moves that are currently taught include OUP at 14A and ISO at 11E. He has played Ani too. That is uh, rather unexpected. Hmm. Considering that Antu does not have any back hooks, it is actually quite blocky and it only floats one letter, letter O. It also blocks the V lane. Peter now has a bingo -y red and he has quite a few options. So there's a Parosmia which anagrams to Mariposa. Really, really cool. There's also Parunia at the same spot M8. And there's Pan Min at 14G. Personally, I will go for Parosmia here because you will want to get into the lead while blocking off a few bingo lanes. So Parosmia and Parosmia both can block bingos from rows 13 to row 15. Whereas the highest scoring move, Kamein, would expose the triple lane, which is not worth it for that two extra points. Erosmia was played and challenged. Thank <laughs> you. 
at this juncture, it's worth noting that um, there is only 13 vowels and one blank left in the bag. So a move like IOD at N2 might not be that suitable because you'll be keeping RST, three consonants. It's going to most likely draw a consonant heavy rack next. So instead, what he could do is um, balance his rack and try to hook for a bingo. Okay, I'm still eliminating the possible moves. Okay, um, currently Quackle puts Wayne's chance of winning at the maximum of 6.3%. That's if he plays Dari at 15L. But I'm not sure how that will actually allow him to catch up later on because the S is already becoming useless on this board. Out of desperation, I might actually play ID at N13 because this, um, the opponent will have to come up with a desperate block that cannot score high along column O or if the opponent is lucky enough to have an E, he can play to the triple at the bottom right corner. Uh, note that there are only three E's left in the back. There's another risky option, which is uh, playing DIP at 14A. That will most likely force the opponent to play along the triple lane of column A, blocking that lane ultimately. Wayne is down to 11 minutes. At this moment, um, what he sh really should be thinking about now is how he, he wants to open up the board further. Because going by the shape, looking at the shape now, it is unlikely that he would bingo unless he finds a 9 through the two floaters from rows 13 to 15. Okay, he's down to 10 minutes now. 37 in the back. Okay, he has paid the IT. Um, personally, I would not do that if I'm behind. Because the T is quite a vital tile to go with the S. And by playing the IT, the opponent can just play something on above just to block it off. I might actually consider DI instead at the same spot, M3. Okay, moving on to the strike. Yes, because of his 
DIT move there. Peter now can play WHIG for 36 points. And while the W may expose triple along row one, we can be quite certain that whatever plays along row one will not be a bingo because there are really few bingos ending with O or OS for the matter. Basically, most bingos ending with E will not fit along row one anymore. So, we would pretty much secure him the game. But, uh, okay, it's too early to conclude, of course. But it will push his lead further. And he would be leading, but even more. He'll be ahead by 111 if he decides to play weak at 2k. Alternatively, if he decides to leave uh, row 2 open, he can play Wali or Whale at 15L and score a decent 33 points. You know, when you are 75 points up in the game, you really have much more control because you can, you can decide to close up the board and your opponent has to be the one opening up for himself to score. Yeah, so as long as you do not open any uh, triple lanes unnecessarily, he should be able to defend his lead. So one move to avoid here would be B13, how? Because if he plays that, uh, there are there's still two C's unseen, which is rather dangerous, considering the numbers, number of bingos ending with TIC or NIC, for example. Yes, born for week at 2k, it is the best move. Now, we has a obvious 54 points move at 15L, that's fine. Um, however, if he decides to open up the board, he may choose to play Oryxas or Ixoras along row 1, as that would dangle a letter O or I, which, which, uh, which allows the S to be put on later on during the bingo. Note that Oryxas and Ixoras only scores one point less compared to Vikes. And yes, Quackle is liking it. Okay, we'll split by it's around 8.8% winning chance according to Quackle. Well, with this rack, the only bingo on this rack is probably for long. Yep, that's the only seven on this rack with no place to go. Well, I guess it's going to be for long that he's still leading by a good 60 plus points. Um. Okay. 
you still move there? He has played well at 14k. I would not play that keeping an O because there's still quite a number of O unseen. I would rather play L O O R on top at 1J. You can play a couple at a key for a good 30 points. However, I mean, seeing how far is trailing, I might consider taking a chance of a couple. That is unconventional, considering that there is a number of back groups. Yep, it takes N, S, and T, which the opponent might have. But when you're trading by 70 plus on a very blocked board, I might take a chance. Okay, let's take a couple of points. Okay, so on Peter's right, there's a few bingos, like Morgan's, spelled with A, as well as E, with no place to go as uh, again. Ah, okay, but... Wings Capon has given him an end floater for mornings, so it's obvious move here. Oh gosh, it's not looking good for Wing. I mean, even when he draws the Z, um, there isn't really any scoring spots on this board. It would be helpful if he keeps the Z now, hoping to draw out the O for a Z O play at C13. So if I were him, what I would be doing is keeping the Z this turn and scoring with the remaining tiles. Note that Q is still in the back. And currently, there is one spot. Only one spot from the two. You know, sorry. Uh, Peter now has just drawn a queue. Okay. Okay, since he has Q along with A and I, we can take Kaji. I'll just play QI. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if ZO is the best move here. Or he could pick ARAS at one hitch and still keeping the Z. Okay, but he has drawn into SAIL. Not sure how that will fit in. Um, it's rather annoying to be stuck with the queue at this moment because it, it forces you to play the queue as soon as possible just so that you don't get stuck later on. So his options are rather limited. It's either Cardi, K, or just QI. 
but as it's leading by 74, it's not much of a concern. From Peter's perspective, he should be worrying about cholera and bingos along row one. And yes, I see he has played OAR on top. So I guess he's trying to secure the game first by not allowing the opponent to bingo along row one. So he plays all. Um, however, there's a risk to be Q stuck. Never mind, you can score at least 12 points with QAT. So, uh, trailing by 94 at this juncture, he's unlikely to win the game unless he forces out an unblockable bingo. Note that two tiles are in the back. And from his perspective, Q is unseen. So he either play he either plays one hoping to open up a bingo lane or just play two while creating two lanes that are unblockable. I mean for unblockable bingo. Uh, know that playing YAS alone here can be quite useful because YAS has a front hook of E. ES. So, uh, ES I think. Yeah. So, that would create a bingo lane. And since uh, if he guesses that Wayne has the queue, he is indirectly forcing Wayne to block the bingo lane along column A. A correction. Uh, if he guesses Peter has the queue. Then, by playing YAS, he's indirectly forcing Peter to decide between playing QI at G13 and choosing to block the bingo lane along column A. Alternatively, he can um, play YA at D4, hoping to get a bingo next turn, there's R. Okay, so he has played Yas in indeed. Okay, so now with one tile in the back, Peter must decide does he, does Wayne have a bingo or does he not? Because it's going to become obvious to Wayne that he has to kill the next turn onwards. And a very interesting thing is he is in the bag. Currently, wind track has no bingo. My guess is he may not even bother to block the bingo lane along column A because with like A, E, 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 
HRS as unseen to him. It seems rather unlikely that there's any bingos that will play in there. There's hearses, definitely. There's the risk. But apart from that, it's not that dangerous. Yeah, he should just play the R. Okay, let's see what I can recommend. Peter has 7 minutes left, while Wayne has 2 minutes and 33 seconds. So here Peter can really afford to spend a lot more time thinking. He can block simply at 14A with cop or lock. Oh, okay. He has played lock. Oh, and Wayne has forces with no place to go. Uh, my mistake, my mistake. Um, this rack is uh, shown on the screen. No bingos. <coughs> you can play versus along 12 pitch. That's a really nice find. It overlaps and scores 26. Or he could try to damage the score of Peter by blocking the eye. The highest scoring move here is uh, A10 easels, but that may not be the best move because it allows uh, allows Wayne, but it allows Peter to play each. Each would have scored, would score 30. Okay, Wayne is down to 1 minute and about 10 seconds, 1 minute and 10 seconds. Peter still has 5 minutes. As expected, Peter plays QI. You know, ET. ET is not. Thank you. 
if the frame rate has dropped quite significantly, so I can't see the video feed clearly. Uh, what I am doing is opening the mic to the floor so that we can talk about the game for a bit, maybe. And then afterwards, I'm sure uh, Jan Wong and I are going to talk about what we can do to improve the communication we have between each other. Um, and Jan Wong couldn't hear that because, so. Because he can only hear one mic and I've got the other active to the stream. So, uh, um, so um, some some things that suggested uh, Alt Eaton wasn't the only bonus. Tortons was mm -hmm. the other. I think it was an of Campari. Um, yeah, I thought of Campari, but there's no word. <laughs> no, 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 Campari uh, is yes. a crazy and uh, I saw that. Right, okay. <laughs> that, that, of course, the other options that's with. That's how I remember it. Porosmia no. were Pearmain, uh, Peroemia, yeah. and Aspermia, and Paradigm. Per? Paradigm. Th Paradigm. That didn't oh. score as good, I'm going descending order of... So Mariposa was the best thing? No, it doesn't fit. Parosmia was the best. Ah, well, and Paroemia was the same thing, thing yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then Paro... yeah, okay. Well, you got a challenge, so that makes it good. Yeah, because I wanted to challenge Paroemia. Uh, I guess so. Oh, that's a medical yeah. word, Carol, isn't it? Uh, well, I yeah. forgot the word, isn't Jewish smell? Yeah, exactly, yeah, I don't really know exactly what it means now, I need to look that up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there was a, a different word for mornings. I don't, I don't know Wayne's vocabulary, maybe he would have challenged it. Granoms? G-R-A-N-N-O-M-S. I would have had to challenge at that point. Granoms? Yeah. I'd I've never seen a grand one. Yeah, that was the oh. other option from mornings. Oh. What, what did I have for this? That was a um, for me. I had I had diorite throughout the year. Diorite. Where is it? Diorite. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. But anyway, right, that will end the game. The I will turn off yeah. both the mics. Yeah. I, I know I knew that was super changes. I had a lot of it. And, um... Like a dude. Yeah, I'm still in Yeah. Making it very difficult to bingo there. Yeah. 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 And what was that exploration? Okay, Jessica, can you still hear me?